Dan Marino career or Eli Manning career? Eli Manning, probably, just because he got some legendary Super Bowl moments, even though his his regular season career ain't that great. He got some of the biggest moments where he beat the undefeated Patriots. So, I mean, like his legacy got a little bit more oomph to it just in big time games. You know what I mean? When you're going for big time games and where people are going to look back, they ain't going to look back on the regular seasons like that. You know what I mean? And plus the way that the, the NFL has changed, all those records that Dan Marino set, they all won't get blown out. You feel me? They're going to have to set up some kind of like, uh, records where it's like this is this era these are all the best records for that time period because the more you add on more games the more these records don't mean shit oh yeah these records gonna start getting destroyed for sure and if and if you ain't got no Super Bowl ring and shit you know what's always gonna be shown on TV and motherfucking Super Bowls they're always gonna play replay all of those so when you always. see the catch the game. On the side of his helmet you feel me that's gonna be Eli in that name his name gonna ring bells and live on longer well, I mean, you just even when you bring up Eli, the, one of the things that you're going to think about when you bring up Eli is, like you said, the catch off the off the at. But Eli beat Tom Brady twice in the Super Bowl. That itself is like, God damn! This Not man. even twice. It's a two and zero. Oh, like never lost. Right. He had to get back for his big brother keep getting his ass whooped. Yeah. Yeah, he is. But okay, you're right, Marty. He is two and zero, and those two games that he won in the Super Bowl was against Tom. That's a hell of a resume. You beat the goat, the the goat at the quarterback position twice in the Super Bowl. Every time you faced him, you you took him down. That's that's a hell of a resume. So so y'all saying Eli over Dan? No, Ray Finko Marino. No, no. I'm, if I'm going quarterback, on, if I'm if I'm starting a franchise. I'm taking not starting a franchise. You saying quarterback for quarterback. So you saying you'd rather take a <laughs> Dolphins quarterback who never won you a Super Bowl? Yeah, oh, bro. That career, bro. Oh, okay. Well, no, I'm going. I'm going. I'm going. I mean, obviously, you're going to go with winners. So I'm gonna go with Eli. You got to go with winners. You got to go with winners, and and it is what it is. That's that's simple and plain. Charles Barkley, Robert Ory. Barkley. I'm going Barkley. Contradicting yourself, so you can't take trust these motherfuckers' opinions for shit. No, no it's not. It's not <laughs> no, no, it's not contradicting yourself. But I'm saying in that position, I, know, I, I would go Marino. I, y'all, I, y'all didn't ask me. I'll go Marino because Marino is known as the goat. All these new records that they Tom Brady is the goat. Don't ever disrespect Tom Brady. We're not having that brass for me on my motherfucking podcast. First of all, I'm in the middle of that goddamn picture because I'm the one with the most focus. Yeah, you know what? I'm I'm going Marino. It's it's, oh look at him, team hopping. It's it's not. It's just. It's not even. It's comparing apples and oranges because fuck fuck rings and this and that. Player on player, if Marino played in the league that we in now, Marino would kill. I'm going with Marino, period. Yep. I'm saying, and, it, and it's stats wise, everybody who's doing it right now, I'd be like, oh, yeah, he beat Marino's record, but he couldn't do it in the 80s. Well, let's talk about Craig Aikman then. Let's talk Ooh. about his stats and his records. Bro, I ain't going to lie, Troy Aikman, stat wise. That was so throw, so throw somebody out there who, 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 who ain't got a record. Let's talk about it. Oh, no, I'm saying stat wise. Compared to these other top tier quarterbacks, Super Bowl quarterbacks, Troy Aikman numbers is not touching these other quarterbacks' numbers. Right. Like, oh, I mean, Troy Aikman, Troy Aikman, Troy Aikman, Dan Marino. Troy Aikman, Dan Marino. No, we're not doing that. Fuck that. We get. No, we're not doing that now. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> we're not doing that now. Huh? Troy Aikman, Dan Marino. Eat the bullet. Eat the bullet. <laughs> Uh, I'm doing, I'm doing, if I'm doing that, I'm doing a career with, uh, with Troy. It's the three in uh, four years. I'm doing Troy. But I'm see, doing but Troy then, three and four years. Okay, you're right. But then you're contradicting yourself with the Eli situation. I don't give a damn about being, uh, uh, nobody, no, nobody gives, nobody gives Eli really credit for that fucking Super Bowl, bro. Right. Okay. What about the next Super Bowl? Nobody give credit for Eli for them Super Bowls, bro. It's that fucking defensive line that was on Brady's ass. That's the credit they give him. So Archie Bandy is what I say. Give him all to Archie. <laughs> <laughs>